Yo, what's up, guys? We are here at UDS Tulsa with literally God reincarnated. <laughs> Somehow, topping with... Show them the deck, bro. So, 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 da, 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 ga, ga, ga. I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> Somehow, tops that with our boys over here. We're getting old trip is destroyed and, right now. And on top of that, he is Bortles' brother. Team Bortle, baby. Campos. Campos. Oh, God, yes. All day. He's so, nice, bro. bro. Without further ado, why don't you tell the whole world what you just accomplished? All right, so um, I, I used to do things in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. I kind of took a break, just trying to like, you know enjoy life or whatever. But now I'm, I'm back, I guess. Cause back, like, back. I, I was just like coming back into the game this past like couple months, and uh, I started opening packs with some friends who really, really liked the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Yu-Gi-Oh is the best game we in the world, hands down. And uh, they opened packs, and I saw some rares from the new set, and I was like, huh. These cards have funny names. And um, yeah, I started reading them and I was like, yo, low key, these cards are pretty insane, you know? And so. Yeah, let's go ahead and top you yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the first, I entered the giant card. You know, I gotta get my playtesting in, won the damn thing. <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> won the damn thing. I, I was like, oh, I can't play the exact same list because I had to do the, the deck profile day for that, you know? Yeah. So I had to change up my list a little bit and uh, yeah, got and top eight of the year. everyone. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Bro, with that being said, any shout outs you want to do before we go into the video? Before we go into the video, I think it's best saved for last. All say right, no more, say no more. All right. All right, so let's get straight into the profile. All right, I'm going to be saying these names. Please don't laugh at me. <laughs> nah, feel free to. All right, first we got Dodo Do Dwarf, Go 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 Glove. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know everyone has to read that card because no one knows what it does. I'll give you the TLDR. All right, let's so, see it, baby. Once per turn on the field, you can special summon a Zubaba or Gagaga monster from your hand. While, uh, while it's in the graveyard, you can special summon itself if you have a do to do or go 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 monster on the board. So, this card is best used as either a starter or an extender once you like link away with it in the graveyard. It's like a spinny, you know? It gets banished whenever it leaves the field, but we're using the Exceeds monster, so yeah. So, you're saying every, every match you played this weekend, that person spent five minutes reading that one card. <laughs> Oh, not just this card. They read every card. And I got the same question every time. It was like, are you locked into Exceeds after using this? No. This card has no restrictions. It's actually probably one of the better cards in the entire engine. Oh my god, that card nice. So next up, we got Zubababa Boncho, uh, Gagaga Coat. I don't know why they went with Coat. Coat? But uh, yeah, there, there you go. Um, this guy is a wolf bark for um, any Zubababa or Gagaga monsters. And... Um, while it's in your hand, you can special summon it if you control a Zubababa or Gagaga monster. So, yeah, this was kind of uh, an extender. You know, if you have all three, that's like the god hand. Um, there's ways to search them, of course, and uh, yeah. So, last but not least, in this little engine that we play, we have two Utopic Onomatopoeia. What the <laughs> heck is So, that? this card counts as a Zubaba, Gagaga, Gogogo, -go -go, and Dododo monster. So, this is like the one thing that connects all of them together. The synergy. <laughs> oh my god. So, the fact that it's a onomatopoeia card is very relevant because I'm just gonna skip past the, the rest of the monsters and just show off these spells because they're pertinent to this. We got these three cards. So, this thing can search this and it can also search this. So, uh, having a way to like bridge the gap and have all of them all at once is really important. So having this card is like kind of your starter because you want to use your normal summon on this stuff. You don't really care about the Luna items. Those like bring their, themselves out like like it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, this thing is like a tanky. It searches for any Onomato card from your deck. So here are my targets for that. Oh my and uh, it has a field effect that I really didn't use, but it, it was there and there was ways to, to like pull it off. Um, I can target one of these guys and then all my monsters on the field become that level. So this is more of a, a rank four spam deck than anything else. I have link monsters in here because you kind of have to. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so I, I just went into uh, rank fours more than anything, and uh, this card was really good at doing that. Hey, um, I had a continuous spell for uh, Magician Souls. God, yes. Oh my god. And uh, yeah, so this card it lets me uh, discard to search for uh, any combination of uh, two of these. This card counts as all of them, but only one at a time, which is a ruling I had to get clarified uh, with the head judges, just to make sure I'm not cheating, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. It's and then, wild. I guess we go into the hand traps next. Let's uh, do my weird ratios. One DD Crow, one Droll and Lockbird, <laughs> three Gamma, one Driver. 
Um, I don't really know why I played one. Actually, I, I do know. It's because of the call by the grave. I didn't want to like draw multiple hand traps and just have them all be w uh, worthless because of one call by the grave. Yeah. Gamma can't be called by the grave, so that's really good. How and, do I uh, with that driver, though? Uh, I drew it a lot, but it didn't really matter because I could just discard it uh, yeah, and do my stuff anyway. <laughs> so then, Ash Blossom. I, I really just did not want to cut it from my deck. It was either three Ash Blossom or three DD Crow, and I just went with the Ash Blossom. Bro, thank you for not playing with the one with legs, bro. I see that <laughs> the everywhere. One, bro? You yeah, that one. No, no, no. no, no. That, if you play that, you, you, get play that you, you are a predator. I was never used to the feet ones. Jeez. Three souls. Uh, card's expensive, but you kind of have to use it. Judges hate it that they taco. I don't know why they do, but they just do. <laughs> I never drew them. Then this thing to use with the souls. Yeah, there are brick hands where this card would just fix it, which was great. And then for the Luna engine, one Kaleido. I'm gonna explain it in a bit. Uh, one Emerald Bird, two of this, and three of this. This looks pretty standard, minus one Kaleido. No, but, no, that's um, not even, it's not even standard. It's actually really small. I thought you'd play uh, way more Kaleidos, but probably because the other cards are normal summon, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, uh, yeah, this card just know. doesn't really do right. anything. Like, right. I'd rather just, like, discard it and then bring it back with Perfume or Tiger right. or something else. So, one Zephyros, it's an extender, it doesn't really do much else. So, for the spells, the one of Foolish, Dollar Nothing. This card's an extender. Best monster card in the game. I will never stop saying that. It is broken. <laughs> uh, double or nothing, because Utopia package. You know, steal some games. Three dubs. Uh, three of those. Three perfume. Three tanky. Three foolish. The three uh, on amount of pickups. Uh, three call by the grave. Um, these cards are, are not really these cards, but this and the automata pickup are one card starters, and that's why I could afford to play as many cards as I did and like do weird stuff that I did. Uh, 45 cards, by the way. 45. 45th card right here. The one trap, baby. Yeah, you gotta play it. So, extra deck. Uh, going to the links first. One gravity controller. Shout out to my boy Orange Cassidy. He looks just like him. He's got the hands in his pockets and everything. in the pockets, bro. Uh, one lambda for my end board. It ends on this IP and exceeds and redo it. Uh, there you go. IP. This for the IP. Appaloosa also for like lambda IP stuff. Ivermax. I, I couldn't make him unfortunately just because he just wasn't that good this weekend. But um, I, I, I like it a lot, <laughs> especially when you bring it out with IP. Very yeah. hard out. Uh, Dweller for the exceeds. Uh, redo combo piece. Uh, Exciton. I wish I could have resolved this this weekend, but I just could not. Uh, four strikes. With the newer combo that I was starting to use, this was harder and harder to like implement. But like, it came up every now and then, especially against like trap decks where you like just want to maintain any type of advantage that you can. And so I would go into this before I like try to do anything else. Then Tornado Dragon, uh, trap decks and stuff. Digaris, love this card. Shout out to Scott Page. He knows why. Uh, Baguska. And then, of course, Utopia Package. The game shot, baby. That's fire. And then, going into the extra, uh, side deck, we have a bunch of going second cards. Mystic Mines, three of. Evenly Mashed, three of. Lightning Storm, three of. And, uh, yeah, we got some more stuff, but these are all the three of's for now. Um, you have to have a prismatic one, because that way you don't draw it. Just one, though. Yeah. One prismatic. You want to make sure you don't draw it. And one uh, Secret Evenly. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Two ofs, two Droll. I was main decking the one because I, I just, I was scared, you know. I, I really didn't want to play Droll if I was only playing one. But at the same time, it, like, if I draw it, it it's just, it's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I discard it in my, like, opening combo whenever I need to. And, like, it, having it in the side deck gave me more options. So, like, I would side out Ash and just put this in. And then two Nibiru and two Twin. Uh, the only card I drew, like, all weekend from my side deck was Twin. And draw nothing else. Nothing else. I like I drew evenly like one game, but it didn't matter. But bro, who needs a side? Look at the deck. The deck's fire. You don't need side. We got this. The deck Easy. is more fire. So you're saying in 2020, my boy Michael Campos bringing out ga 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 zuba ba ba and go 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 shit. <laughs> don't don't forget here, do 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 and then I'm um, not Topia dude that counts as all of them dudes. Wow, dude, that's some innovation. So you're saying opening pack for your friends got you the innovation for you to play these brand new cards. I never, I was gonna call them brand new cards because I've never seen them before. But how did it feel to top with something innovative, man? Uh, it felt great, honestly, because like, like 
I would not hear the end of it at locals. <laughs> you, I, I have locals with, you know, Scott Page, Cameron Neal, nice. Joey Lynch, you know, good players. And every time they're like, you're playing that Baba Ba deck? <laughs> Baba Ba? <laughs> they say Baba Baba Ba deck? Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, this card, these, these cards are good. Yeah, and nice. I guess I proved it here. You did. All right, man. Let's end it with shout outs, baby. Shout outs. Biggest shout out, of course, to Team Bortle, my brother. Oh, my God. Oh, God yeah. Wait, you played Bortle Sword. I did not, unfortunately. Damn, I'm kind of sad. But <laughs> I was wearing the merch. Yeah, yeah, Buy yeah. the merch. God, oh, yeah. definitely. Oh, God, you got yeah. trades? You got trades? Oh, what's up? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what's up? Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, shout out to this <laughs> man. I had a great match oh, with this we man. We played in Swiss. I, we played in Swiss. We had a great match. We literally passed for the first like 20 turns. So, you know, it was nuts. <laughs> no Nothing. idea what he was playing. Then he, then oh, he, he kept then passing. He, then he one punched me, and it, I felt it. I felt it in my soul. Congrats, bro. Of course, shout outs to everyone in DFW. You know exactly. Exactly who you are. Biggest shout out to my boy uh, John Wynn. Uh, without him, I probably wouldn't even be playing Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, honestly. I feel you. He, he revitalized the spark that made me want to play. Friends keep you in Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. Friends keep you in Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, and of course, shout out to Trip. Uh, let's go! Asian Persuasion. Oh, let's Bortle go! Bortle God, yes. Bortle God, yes. He's nice, bro. He's nice. All right, man. Well, congratulations on getting top eight with your. I can't even say the title of this name of all this. Let's cards. call it Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Luna Light. I like it, man. Well, that's a way easier title because I was going to type Zoo 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 Well, congratulations on getting top eight and different type of file, my friend.